Yeah, they they lost in doubles for the first time, did she and Catherine, and she has used that to drive her forward and start playing with more fun. So here we go, let's play pickleball. One zero. Side out. And not only do the players have to adjust to the wind, so do our technical zero, crew as it is wreaking havoc with our look behind the court. Side out. One, zero. Point. You see on the men's side, a lot of returners coming forward to the kitchen line immediately, not Three, as frequent on the women's side. Point. Boy, three miss returns here for Schulte. Why is that, Matt? The court coverage, obviously the length of the kitchen line, easier to pass if you're a smaller figure there at the net. Um, not Some not quite as explosive, but. Side out. And the accuracy of a lot of these women, the Zero, pinpoint three. accuracy of these passes, just getting so good. Side out. Schulte taking a little bit too big to swings yeah. back there, body weight back towards that sign Three, instead of zero. forward towards the net. Wow, another Start miss. That's point. four miss returns are the four points here. I'd like to see her shorten that swing up. Four, zero. Less of a, a swing, more of a push through. Tries to drive it down the line, gets too much of it, and A.L. Dove is rolling five zip. Wow. Yeah, this is a good time for it to just uh, get that return going and get, get those groundies that are quite good. See, look what a made return does. It's amazing, isn't it? And you can see the wind pulling the ball away Zero to the right six. side of Anna Lee Waters. We saw that in the Ben Johns match as well. Right out. Six, zero. Point. Yeah, especially in a windy day, Seven, the way zero. Maddie plays, maybe on a, on a more calm day, that forehand would work. You can see Annalise's singles record. That's since she turned pro, 94% winning percentage. Uh, not too shabby. Not <laughs> too shabby. Eight zero. This is 31 points in a row for Anna Lee Waters on center because last <laughs> night it was 11-0, 11-0 in her doubles. I don't know. I think this is a record. That was some quick math. You're welcome. Oh, goes for the Side big out. angle there. Comes up just short. So let's see if Schulte can just settle in here. You know, get some touches. Zero nine. Wind is at Schulte's back, Nine, so uh, just hasn't made the adjustment. That's, That's just <laughs> awesome. That's sick. Game point. That ball's so much tops from moving away so quickly. Blink of an eye, we're at game point. Ten, zero. Wow, and Anna Lee Waters looks like she's in jail, and she most certainly had the key to get out. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. 133 points in a row. Maddie Eight Schulte nine, uh, nine, is nine, trying nine. to get going. <laughs> that, of course, carried into her doubles last night for Anna Lee. 
And there we go. Point. Okay. Welcome to the scoreboard, Maddie. Better there, moving Annalee out wide to the forehand side. Not that she has a, a weakness One, in either moving direction, but. Side up. I would say she does, Annalee does move better to the backhand side, I think, ha having that extra hand on the paddle as well to help her. Zero, one. Point. Case in point. Yeah, the return was fantastic yeah. from Schulte, and coming in is great, but if you return cross court one, to one. that backhand, you're just begging for a problem. Scamper from Schulte, but uh, just extended the inevitable, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, that is right. Three, one. Easy put away from Annalie Waters. Point. So what are you seeing on the technique on the return? Just, first of all, way too far over on that grip, almost like a semi-western yeah. or western. I'd like to Four, see more one. continental or that little shift towards eastern. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. Uh, swing a little bit too big. I'd like to see her kind of get, uh, give herself space and more f flatten that return out. One, four. More square paddle face. Side out. Yeah, it just seems to be off on her movement too because that was a reach four, instead one. of another shuffle step and, and the, the wind can play a role in that, but you've got to adjust. Yeah, she seems to be getting jammed up, too, on these forehands. That big swing, but not really getting the body out of the way. Five, one. Schulte Point. coming from tennis, potentially able to use those strings, right even if she's jammed, to kind of create that, that top spin. Pickleball, no strings on that paddle. No, Learn that not. pretty early. One, six. Correction, let me go back. Diane Viata, Andrea Gately, and Tony Jaden are our referees. Side out. Five, one. Why let the ball bounce when you can go Warren up there and destroy it? And so impressive from Annalie Waters, especially at 17 years old. You're cruising through this match, but Six, still one. looking to find your rhythm, come in, take balls out of the air, not letting anything, taking anything for granted, rather. Oi. And Schulte pushes that slice back in wide and is making one. the... When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. To serve it, lo it looks like a Time broken in. graphic it to does. me. That like, can't be right. Seven, Come on, one. where's the typos? There's <laughs> no typo there. Side out. Yep, that's the one that's up 40 to 1 right there. That'll, that'll get you. Can you have Mr. a graphics Return. jinx? I think you can. Yep. Just happened. One, seven. Uh, let's see if Schulte can ignite her best stuff here. What a read from Anna Lee Waters there, but just Point. deep. Yeah, saw Schulte lunging there. Great move to cut off the angle, but two, seven. a little too powerful. That's pretty with the two-handed backhand and a little positive energy from Schulte. Three, seven. Side out. 
And when that hits the tape, the sound on that gets <laughs> bang, just right in the top of it there. Seven, three. Oh, tweener. Oh, man. Ooh. Just missed a clean winner. That would have been unbelievable. That is as much cheering as you'll get for an that outball you'll ever see. That is unbelievable by like an inch. Three, seven. The wind was the problem, too. That's in on a, on a normal day. She knows she's in the entertainment business. Is it bad? I wanted to see that go in. Uses timeouts a lot. And if I'm Schulte, I'm like, hey, she's calling timeout. I, 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 I'm in a position here. Nice job from Schulte there. Uncharacteristic forehand miss there. Again, windy out there. Just moving all around. That's too good for Anna Lee Waters, but nice response here. After the graphics team puts up 40 to one, Schulte <laughs> says, you can just take your graphic away now, boys. Seven, five. Yeah, going down that line is going to be rough today with the wind. Yeah, and that forehand again getting jammed. That seems to be a problem Eight, side five. for Schulte. Just deep, you're going into the wind, so yep. there's a chance there. Worked a couple points ago, why not go back to it? Nine, five. And just an absolute <laughs> missile. And we are at match Nine, point for Nine, Anna five. Lee Waters. Schulte is... Nine, ten, so five. back to match point here for Anna Lee Waters. And gets it done with the patented two-handed backhand. So uh, Schulte much better on the other side, but uh, too much Anna Lee Waters. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Great to have you back in singles. What fans want to know, what's the training for you for singles versus your doubles? And is it different? And what do you do to make sure you bring your best out here to the singles court? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely different. I like to call it a different sport because I think they're that different, honestly. I mean, all three divisions are really <laughs> different, but singles and doubles is definitely a different animal. So um, I think it's it's really cool when you see some players who are really good at singles also really good at doubles. I think it just shows what great athletes they are and what great skill they have. So not just me, but I think other athletes, you know, we do have to train differently. Um, as far as I go, I would say I don't necessarily play many or at all like singles rec games where I would like go out and play some doubles rec games. I don't really play any singles rec games, but I do uh, singles drilling. So like maybe I'm drilling with my mom and then we'll do some singles drills because those really help with doubles as well. Um, and I told my mom last tournament not playing singles coming and playing this one. I feel, you know, like I'm moving a lot better on the doubles court just because, you know, you start the day playing out, playing singles or start the tournament playing out singles and you're, you get your body moving so much. So I think it really helps and translates. So I think like if you're coming into the sport, you should definitely play both and it'll help you in both divisions. AL, you're going for 100 titles this weekend. Obviously, you get a lot of accolades on yourself. Talk a little bit about the team around you, though. Your mom and dad are here, obviously. You work with the physio back home, just about the entire team and their role in your career. 
Yeah, I mean, there's so many people. I was actually talking to my mom last night. I think I counted like seven just who are like with me <laughs> or, you know, who I talk to on the daily basis. I've got my mom, my dad, um, my grandparents. I've got my trainer, Brandon Oaks. I've got my physio, Ashton. Um, I have my mental coach, Jack Llewellyn. Then I've got my agent, Kelly Wolf. So there's a lot of people um, definitely in the background that you don't see. And then at the tournament, I've got Mr. Scott who comes with us to all the events. Um, and is like my bodyguard drives my bus around and just a great friend to have and then this tournament I've got all my cousins here um, aunts and uncles my other grandparents So I definitely like to travel with people who love me and take care of me So definitely glad to be back home and even seeing more people around me <laughs> Well, Anna Lee you almost made the shot of the tournament uh, We love when I scream out tweener alert and you're about <laughs> to do it and uh, do you practice that do you know you're doing it in the middle of, of the point or uh, is is this something just that just happened you missed it by an inch I think the wind pushed it wide when I was younger I wanted to be able to hit a tweener so bad I remember it was like Joey Farias could hit one and I was so jealous so I, I was like kind of practicing not really I don't really practice it but yeah yesterday in the du women's doubles there was one that I was gonna hit a tweener and then I didn't and I was so upset at myself I've been thinking about it like for the whole day so today when I came out and saw the <laughs> tweener opportunity I had to take it and I, I don't know it made my day I think I missed the next shot pretty badly though I was still thinking about how close that, that one was <laughs> but I think I'm gonna try some more of this tournament <laughs>